In episode 12 of Mastering Fortnite Save the World, we're going to be completing to boldly go and rescue the survivors, meaning that we need to complete a rescue the survivors mission. And I'm taking one once again in power level 15, the same one that I have completed before. And the main goal for me is to scout out the entire map. So the way that I'm doing this is just running about like the outskirts of the map along the sides, going in like the square surviving not surviving rescuing the survivors that i find along the way but making sure that i come across the entire map before i'm done with the mission now we only need to rescue six survivors in total in order to complete this mission and it is very important to remember that if you discover the entire map but you don't win the mission if you don't rescue the entire six survivors it will not count as with everything in Fortnite Save the World, you need to complete the main objective in order to get the mission related rewards. Whatever kind of objective things you do, if you don't complete the main mission for that map, nothing counts. So I'm just running like the side of the map here all the way around until I see the point where it says that I have discovered the entire map, getting this medal for it. And then I know that I'm home safe and I can spend the rest of the time farming if I want to or rescuing even more survivors. Here you can see it, I have an exploration badge. I also took down a Mimic. It was a bit of a tough one. It, it managed to get me down a single time, but with a few Shuriken and with a, a cool, awesome, uncommon weapon, I managed to get my very, very first Mimic down as well. Loads of loot up in these things here. I got like so much goodies in this one mission. But all in all, it was pretty easy. I did have the Mimic that caused a little bit of problems, but I managed to complete both of the missions in one go. And this is the second time that I'm completing a power level 15 mission with my current power level, meaning that I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfy about where I am in the game now. We're unlocking Defenders and Defender Pods, which is something we're going to be using in the next Storm Shield. So that is also a huge milestone. I'm going to be completing this series as a solo player. So having defenders is going to be great. It is like having an AI teammate with you. So that is really something that uh, you should be focusing a little bit on as well if you are a solo player. So anyway, guys, that was what I had to share in this video, completing two of these missions and getting a new hero loadout option to level up defenders and a storm shield defender slot as well and one for the mission remember to use my support to create a code logo hansen in the epic game store and remember that a portion of sales goes to me when you use my support creator link